GPS, the global positioning system, is the backbone of navigation, telecommunications, finance, logistics, emergency response, and countless other industries. It's estimated that GPS processes trillions of positioning calculations per day. GPS can track the exact position of a device or vehicle down to the centimeter scale, or better, from space. Today, we're getting to peek under the hood at one of the systems and algorithms that makes GPS so incredibly precise. It's called integer ambiguity resolution. And in this paper, the authors have devised a way, they say, to make it even slightly better. In order to wrap our heads around integer ambiguity resolution, we need a bit more context. When a GPS receiver determines its position, it does so by measuring the time it takes for signals to travel from several of the satellites to the receiver. However, standard time of flight measurements are limited by various sources of error, atmospheric delays, satellite clock drift, and receiver noise to name a few. Carrier phase measurements provide a way to achieve much higher precision by using the phase of the radio waves themselves. The problem is that the receiver cannot directly determine the exact number of full wavelengths that exist between itself and the satellite. This unknown count is called integer ambiguity. 